Hello everyone. Working on the Mercury 9. Haven't made much significant progress since the last stop. Other than I got the glass in, I've got the interior of this done. Alright. Now, it's kind of hard to see it right there. But there are little people in there. It'll be a lot easier to see in a little bit because I'm going to light the crud out of this thing. Okay, you can see the Fopper optic nest coming out of the bottom. So she's going to get lit up very, very well. All right. And the inside, you can see the peoples in there with the right lighting. Yeah, you can see them. There's a lot of little peoples in there. Okay. And these black back windows back here will be lit. Okay. What am I lighting them with? Well, it's these guys. Okay. These are Piranha. Uh, super flux LEDs. I don't know why they call them super flux because they're not much brighter than a normal 5mm LED. They're really not. The difference with them though is a normal LED focuses the light and shoots it out in one direction. These little guys, let's take a zoom in on one, not a real extreme zoom in. These little guys are squares. They've got a dome over the top of them and they've got four prongs in the bottom okay the dome over the top spreads the light out very evenly they broadcast it everywhere like a normal light bulb would instead of what a uh, um, normal LED does the big problem is all four prongs are the same length so you gotta know which is positive which is negative by looking at the underside of this thing okay let's get uh, that's as far as she's gonna zoom in and I can't bring her any closer with that with it focusing. So that's about as far as I can zoom it in. What you're looking for is I've got the positive on the bottom on this one. You will see the two prongs on the bottom are connected, and the two prongs on the top loop around the bottom of the loop. So the top is negative, the bottom is positive. Okay? And that's how you tell where it is. Let me take a look at that and make sure I've got it orientated properly. All right. Yeah, I had it orientated properly. The positive is on the bottom, the negative is on the top. You can see it pretty clear in that still right there. Okay. Now, what what I've done is I've taken, I snipped off two of the leads, so it's more like a normal LED because you can get away with that. And I've soldered my resistor to one positive end and negative lead to the other. I made nine of these tonight. These guys are going to let me put the light in my command center. All right, so I'm quitting for the night. Tomorrow night, I'm going to get those in there and get them wired and get this thing lit up and sealed up so I can start painting it. One other thing I did, I took a 3 millimeter warm white and put it in the spotlight. And I've already tested this thing. It works real good as a spotlight. Only problem is the spotlight feeds into the top of the command center, and I can't run wires in the top of this thing, so I have to run it down the back and down. That's okay. It'll look okay right if I'm careful with it. So, there you go. Short update. I'm going to get to bed. I'll be back tomorrow with another update. Alright. Got something to show you. Everyone see that little tiny glowing dot? Yeah, let, let's, let, let's get untied on that thing. There we go. Raise. Uh, I'm having problems with the camera. Everything got moved. We're packing up the house to move. Is that little tiny glowing dot? Okay. That is a surface mount LED that I've soldered leads onto. Not as hard as I thought it would be. You just have to know how to approach it. I'll explain how to approach it in a few minutes. I'm just actually we ought to do it now. Let me see if I can find something to do, explain what I'm doing with. Okay. Yeah, here. Here you go. Let's give her some light so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Okay. Let's give it some scale. So you guys have an idea just how tiny that is. Here is a normal LED. Uh, just kidding. That's a 
10 millimeter LED. Um, right here, this is a 3 millimeter LED. You can see this thing is quite a bit smaller than a 3 millimeter LED. Quite a bit smaller. So, how do you go about soldering one of these things together? Alright. Well, <clears throat> first off, we get a notebook here. So I have something to write on. Okay. First off, your LED looks like this, okay? It's got these two notches on either end of it. What I did is I took my wires, stuck them in there, and then soldered it right here, okay? So the wires are projecting back off of it. And I need the wires to project back off of it anyhow, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to end up soldering a whole bunch more of these together and figuring out the easy way makes me really happy. Another thing I had to do is my helping hands wouldn't hold it, so I put some tape in there. Now I didn't put the LED leads on the sticky side of the tape, I put it on the non-sticky side. This is the non-sticky side, sticky side here. But just the tape in there was enough to hold the tiny leads. The leads were made from clipping the ends off resistors because I didn't have thin enough wire. I have some magnet wire laying around right here. But this is 36 gauge <laughs> and incredibly tiny. I need to get myself some better magnet wire than 36 gauge. All right, so I'm gonna set that magnet wire aside. That is just too tiny for what I need to do. Although I could see it having uses, I just, didn't take the time to bother with it when that'll work. And that'll work for me because that guy is going right over here as a light on top of this big old door. So we have a door with a light illuminating downward off the door. So I gotta drill some holes, get that glued on here, then solder some leads off of it. And I can start putting this building together. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright folks, I've got this done. I had to resolder it three times because I was not too fragile with it. But what do you think? You think that looks like a light over a door at 1 350 schedule, scale? The camera is showing the light a bit brighter than it really is. But I think that's going to work just fine. I really do. I'm happy with the effect. I'm going to glue that thing down, get it wired up, and start putting my building together. Be back in a little while. Okay, very different angles again because we're packing up to move. Everything's in disarray in the house. My bench is still here because until the big spring contest is pretty much not changing. Right after that, everything's going out. Okay, I get to keep a workbench, but not here. So you'll know when I get that moved because the cameras are all going to shift around. Anyhow, getting into this, still working on the command center here, okay? We got the windows and glass in there, and I never talked about the windows. I did a little bit, but I didn't really show you the end results, okay? Down there, that was decal film, came out pretty good. Up here, yeah, you can see what this thing's going to start to look like through the windows. You're going to be able to see some of that detail. That was clear styrene that I added. And yeah, you can see it right there. It got crazed a little bit. I don't know how, but it did. I'm not too worried about the crazing, because when I looked at the photo edge set, there's shutters that go across down here at the bottom. You won't be able to see the crazing. The interior, there's some people in there. You can see that. But that's not why I got the camera on. It's for the back. I got my LEDs mounted for the interior lighting. I still need to solder all the wires together. And that's going to be fun because I did not leave enough length on the positive ends, but I did on the negative ends of everything. So I'm going to have some fun soldering that. I ran out of time today when I was doing that, 
so I didn't get any of the lighting done for this guy here. I'm going to get them all mounted on the back of this thing. Okay. You see there's some cutouts and things like that. That's for other applications. You'll see that in a little bit. i got to drill some holes to get the wiring through them. Because all the wires here have got to go through this thing. So I'm going to be drilling some holes down here. I need to drill a hole in the floorboard of this to get power out. Okay. So I'm about to put the lights in this. I've got three LEDs to light these eight win eight windows with. That should light it sufficiently bright. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure some of you are like, wait, 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 you never explained this. This is Abe's epoxy sculpt. I use some Abe's epoxy sculpt to fasten these LEDs down with. I got a little too thick in a few places, so I'm going to have to take a file or something and sand it down a bit so that I can seal it up with this, because this part mounts right there. And you can see I got some work to do. We got fiber sticking out the bottom. I got all sorts of fun left to do on this. Just want to give you guys a short update on that. Now, inside the command center, you can't see it very well with the lid on. I thought about, um, yeah, you can see the fibers are picking up light there and how those uh, consoles are all going to light up. Okay? You can see it there. And I'm going to use um, different colored LEDs on that. So those are all different colored screens. But anyhow, I thought about putting an LED in the top. One of these little surface mount LEDs, SMD LEDs, like I did in the garage door. If I can find that garage door. Eek. That worries me a bit. That better not have disappeared. It's here somewhere. I've just got disarray everywhere. But anyhow, um, I thought about putting one on the roof. Oh yeah, here's the garage door. You can see the LED there with the wires coming through the wall. I put one in there to test it. Took a look. It's way too bright. I can dim the LED down so it's not bright. Easy enough. Then I fired up these three. Put the lid on it. And there's so much light pumping out from these three, I don't need an LED at the top. You're going to be able to see the inside here just fine. So we're not going to do it light on the roof. All right. The only other thing that's warning me right now is this spotlight. This spotlight mounts on the roof, and these wires are far too big. It'll be out of scale real quick. I mean, this wire is almost as thick as a person is tall at this scale. So i got to come up with some way of dealing with that. Okay, especially since we have a photo edge tower, we'll put the lid on, photo edge tower sits here, and then the spotlight sits on top of that, and you can already see those wires are far too big, so this is going to have to be fixed. I mean, it's really, really going to have to be fixed. So, <clears throat> then I'm going to pull out some magnet wire and resolder this with some magnet wire. All right. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to get going on this because I haven't got a lot of time tonight. I want to put this thing together tonight if I can, and that is doable and possible. I know I've said that like the last four videos, and we're three days after I started saying that. All right. But I think it's really doable and possible at this point to get this thing buttoned up so I can start masking the windows and getting ready to sand, paint it because I gotta progress we have two and a half weeks left on the contest and I'll have the command center done happy thought is the base is almost ready for me to start working on it so when the command center is done I can just start putting everything on the base and I still gotta build all these little trucks and helicopters and stuff like that I still have to build two warehouses or one warehouse I haven't figured that part out yet that shouldn't take long because that's scratch building a building and we know how long that'll take. Cut the walls, cut the roof, slap it together, and you're done. Okay? It's a lot, I don't have to do what I'm doing on this one and custom light everything and backs, you know, little screens in the back and all that stuff. It's not going to be anything like this. All right? I've got the radar to the tower to put together. I've got the fueling station to put together. These things, I can put the radar tower together really quick. These things will go quick. Putting the groundwork should go quick. If I have one good weekend, I'll get most of that groundwork done. 
and that includes building the warehouse. So, it's still possible for me to finish this, but it's going to be tight. Let me get busy. Talk to you later. Alright folks, I didn't get it together. <laughs> Is anyone surprised? I've been working this one for five or six days saying, tomorrow I'll get it done, tomorrow I'll get it done. Okay. But I did get pretty far. Another hour, maybe two worth of work, and she will be together. Which is a happy thought. First up, I'm going to turn the power back on so you guys can see this. Alright. I have to hold it because it's not glued together. I'm going to cut this off. Let's give you guys a zoom so you can see this thing lit. If it focuses right, yeah, you can see that in there. The whole front of the building's lit. The interior of that room's lit up very well. Okay? And you can see in there and you can see the people and stuff. Those screens are lit up very, very well back there. I'm happy with how that came out. The other side of the building has wire, is wired. LEDs are in place. I just haven't given it power yet. I haven't soldered those wires together yet. I'll do that tomorrow night. Then I can button this thing up and start worrying on the exterior detail, like the shutters and the railings and the spotlight. I did some more work on the spotlight, by the way. And I figured out what I'm going to do with that spotlight. I found an old floppy drive with magnet wire in it. The magnet wire I have currently is not good enough. The floppy drive's magnet wire will be good enough. So, I'm going to use the floppy drive's magnet wire to work this thing with. And it will give me a good, good, good setup on it. And I'll be really happy with it. So I'll be able to wire that spotlight in, use some magnet wire, not have these big, huge wires draping down the side of my building, because that just puts the whole thing off. It just doesn't look right. Whereas if I use some magnet wire, I can make it look right. So there you go. I can't really put the spotlight on anyhow until I have the diorama set up, because I want the spotlight shining at the right place. So... It, it's got to sit anyhow. Desoldering that, soldering on magnet wire won't be a huge deal. Tacking the magnet wire down where I want it to go won't be a huge deal either. So that'll just take a little bit of time. So there we go. I should have that buttoned up with another hour or two worth of work.